to talk about the time that I'm going to talk about the time that I went to the emergency room. I fucking just want to make a video about something. So I went to the emergency room and you know, you'd think like everybody in the emergency room would be there because like they have an actual issue, like they have their fucking balls are inside out and their foreskin is hanging over their head and there's a fucking fishing hook in their fucking nipple. But like, no, there's people in the emergency room like, oh my god, my baby has fucking one degrees over average temperature, gotta take him to the emergency room. It doesn't matter if somebody's fucking spleen and spine is sticking out of their back. Oh my god, get out of the way, my fucking baby has one degrees higher than a normal temperature. Everybody back the fuck up, it doesn't even matter what's wrong with you. <laughs> I fucking hate people like that. My sister, when she had her baby, like, literally, the kid would be fucking fine. A tiny, tiny, like, a, like two degrees over normal temperature. We gotta go to the emergency room. Emergency room now. Call an ambulance. Call an ambulance. And it's just like, bro. <laughs> I hate people like that. Fuck your fucking baby. Okay, there's people who are actually dying. And, um, okay, so my, my... When I went into the emergency room, so I broke my foot, and, like, I didn't break my foot like a normal foot break, like, I broke my foot, like, I broke three bones in my foot, and my foot was, like, swelled up into, like, the this huge potato, and it looked really disgusting. It looked so horrible, and the way I broke my foot is really stupid. No, I didn't break it going down the stairs, I didn't get into an accident, I wasn't doing a cool skateboarding trick, I fell going up the stairs, and I literally, like, barely fell, and I, like, banged my foot on the railing, and somehow I broke three bones in my foot, and what the doctor said was that the way I broke my foot was very common in horrible car accidents, so that's fucking sad, wow, I broke my foot going up the stairs, that is so amazing. I'm gonna fucking die with that in my name. But, um... So I went to the emergency room, right? And, you know... Emergency rooms... I'm, I'm quoting this from another person's video. Destry's video on, um... On the emergency room, but, like... He was right. It either smells like way too much fucking Lysol or actual fucking diarrhea, like... And it smelled like so much Lysol. And then I... I don't know what happened. Like, I was fucking, like... My parents refused to get me a wheelchair. They forced me to wear crutches. And this was my summer break. This was the very beginning of summer break. And I fucking snapped my three bones in my foot. Like, couldn't move at all. And I fucking... I couldn't get a wheelchair. Like... Oh, come on. Can I get a wheelchair? Do you know how fucking hard and how shitty it is to have crutches? It's so much work. It's so much effort. And then it's fucking loud as shit. It's annoying with a wheelchair. I can just wheel around. But they forced me to use crutches. What the fuck? <clears throat> That's so much extra work. <clears throat> I'm a little sick right now. Who forces... Cru I don't think you understand. If you've never broken a bone, crutches are the fucking worst. They suck. They're such a pain in the ass. And I had to use my crutches up the stairs. And, like, I feel like crutches are so much... They're so dangerous. Like, I fell so many times using crutches. Because you have to be slow as fucking crutches. With a wheelchair, I'm just like, wee! But fucking with crutches, dude, you gotta go, like, grandma speed. It sucks. And then fucking at the emergency room, there's people there that have nothing wrong with them. That are perfectly fine. I thought the emergency room was for people who have fucking blood spewing out of their fucking asshole. But instead, it's just literally old people or people with their dumbass baby. That is literally, like, perfectly fine. Like, you don't need to be there. There are people that actually need to be there. So I had to wait 
quite a while to get medical attention for my foot that honestly, like, my foot swelled to the point where I would say it was, like, half the size of my head. Like, my foot was big. It was gross. It was so fucking swelled up. It was so disgusting. And I had to wait for medical attention because people with their dumbass baby were fucking getting attention before me. Excuse me. But just because Sarah has a baby that's fucking 0.2 degrees over temperature doesn't mean me with a fucking foot the size of a fucking football shouldn't get medical attention just because of some Sarah's dumbass fucking baby. Excuse me. But my foot is broken. Three bones. And it's huge. Uh, what? <laughs> and then fucking like, oh my god! I remember when I was walking in the fucking um, ER, and um, I fell, and it hurt so bad. When I walked on, <coughs> when I walked on my broken foot. It literally, like, I could feel my bones, like, cracking on each other. Like, I could feel them, like, snapping and popping. Like, when I walked on it, I went, I heard it go, like, I heard it go, and it was so horrible. My, I walked on my foot, and it went, like, it literally did that. That is so gross. The e Basically, in summary, America needs free health care, and, um... If you are not, if you don't need emergency medical attention, don't go to the ER. You're wasting people's time. You're wasting a lot of money because that's expensive. Let's be real. It's like so much money for an ambulance. Like, if you're poor, you, I guess you might as well just die because it's so expensive to get medical help. So, um, yeah. That was my ER story. If you have a shitty ER story, which honestly everybody in America who has gone to the ER probably has a shitty fucking experience, please tell me. I would love to know.